uh, really, really sad. Uh, but we have not forgotten those who were affected by the disaster. We will continue to tell these stories, so you've got to stay with us right here on Joy News, as we all say to ourselves that never must this happen. Uh, but we there are a lot of developmental things, uh, things occurring in our country. May the souls of those. Story there, but calls for greater understanding of the illegal to fight it. The uh, story continues uh, with some uh, s figures that it gives you. For us here on the show, uh, we want to talk about what the W. We'll still continue to use it. Mr. Ali, good morning. Good morning. Mm. Why are we with the fight? I mean, what's the message, the core message? Is it for people to stop smoking? Thank you very much uh, for having me this morning. And uh, as you know, today is uh, 31st May. And uh, the world over, countries are celebrating and marking the day by ensuring that at least people reduce the intake of tobacco or even those who are not using, not to use it. And uh, it's a day set aside by the World Health Assembly based on the scientific evidence available, best practices, mm -hmm. that yes, the use of tobacco and even exposure to tobacco smoke, that is the passive smoke, is even in even the environment. Mm -hmm. So they decided that globally countries should law regulating tobacco, tobacco trade, smoking, mm -hmm. everything in Ghana. So this year, uh, every year we, there's a dedicated theme. Last year it was on illicit trade. Two years ago it was banned. that it, you know they've got this warning that says uh, is cigarette smoking is harmful to your health or something thank you so these are these are the text warning and interestingly if you go into the society how many people can read considering the low level of illiteracy in Ghana so the world is saying that let's move ahead and even interestingly can Introduce a compulsory 65% graphic health warnings. So even if European countries uh, literate, but they have decided to go plain path. And we Ghana with lower level, we are still on text warning. How many of our people can uh, I mean can read and write? Considering even our villages, uh, even majority of those per our statistics, it shows that. Those who smoke a lot are even below the, uh, I mean, those uh, within the poverty cycle. So meaning that those at the higher level above the poverty cycle are able to read and write.
that people who can't read would see the picture and stay off. But having industry were claiming that no it's not in Giros. I mean it's a trade, it's a normal trade that they are doing. But uh, based on the available fact, we all know that tobacco as we see it now contains over 4,000 chemicals of which 40 are cancer causing agents. It's clear they are not arguing about it. Still a ban, but when we carried out, I was actually part of the research team. We realized that the industry is now using color coding. You know, uh, if I say color coding, it's another way of advertisement. Garba Lodge, you will see there's a particular signboard, I mean, advertising Garba Lodge. Just behind us here, when you get to uh, Paloma, we also saw the same design, mm. but Paloma on it. When we're also in uh, Ubuasi, we also saw similar uh, board. So realize that it was a particular brand of cigarettes. Mm. So these are color coding. So industries are innovating. They are trying to, I mean, exploit some of the loopholes mm -hmm. to advertise. For instance, uh, your station for, uh, like this. There are some people who watch your program, your voice. They cannot read. If it's Joy News, Adum, they cannot. But when they see the logo, they are able to identify that this is the station that I've been watching. Okay. So, so let's advertisement is still going on. Okay. And even the uh, last Have week, you linked advertisement to the number of people who smoke, for instance? You know, do people smoke because they see the advertisements? Yes, it's one. Uh, because the more you advertise, the more you convince them to smoke. That is one. And two, peer pressure to use one other factor. And three, lack of regulation is also another factor. Let me give you one uh, situation. You know nowadays, smoking is bad. That is one aspect. You will see uh, within our communities, people send children to go and buy cigarettes. Apart from buying, they tell them, light it when you are coming. If you light a cigarette and you are bringing it, people if tell you don't the children pop, to light I'm, it when I'm coming. I'm telling you that. exposure is still going on. So today they go, they buy biscuit on the same table from the same person. The cigarette is also there. So how can you convince the child that cigarette is not good? So these are some of the existing methods mm -hmm. that the industry is using.
You understand? Have you heard the song Choices? I mean, it's now making a lot of, uh, because everybody has a different rendition of it, but I think the most popular for us in Ghana would be Sakodia's Choices. It's a song. I mean, you've got a choice. Do you want to smoke? No. Yep. <laughs> the point is, people want it, whether you advertise it or not. What's your problem? But, you see, it's not about the choice. We have the regulation. We have the law in the country. Yes. Somebody could also say that, okay, it's my choice to die. I'm sick. I want to kill myself. The law doesn't allow that. So the law... is available, which was Households spending 15% on this is bad. Now, let's get back to the health in issue. We all know that globally, the scientific fact is that 92% of oral cancer is being caused by cigarettes. We talk about the, we know of lung cancer. I mean, those who smoke are at higher risk of dying of lung infections. And we also know of the heart diseases. We also know of if you continue to smoke, the, I mean, the infertility and those things. So there are so many health impacts in there. And so, but, but these, to the health all these things health that you're talking you talking know about yeah. seem to not, it's not scaring the people who smoke it. Because otherwise, um, if you said all these things to me, I would not want to smoke. I'm sure a good number of people out there would also not want to. But there are people who, irrespective of the the risk associated with smoking. It's not an easy product that if you think gets into your system, you can stop. That is one factor. And another factor too has to do with the availability. If you want people to stop smoking, you have to adopt several strategies. Just go so what, buy the what, 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 So I mean, in what, terms of. Simply advocate for a total ban of it then. The campaign, we had divided fronts. Others were calling for total ban on the, I mean, let's ban it outright. Others too were saying let's control. You see, if you ban it totally, we don't want to get into the situation of other hard drugs. If you ban it without, I mean, moving the people, without moving along with the people, it will enter. It will join the one some of the underground, I mean, uh, drug dealings. So we want to call the attention of people, reduce the intake gradually. We are moving, but even globally, even the developed countries are even closer to banning it because now, uh, if you go to uh, Australia, Ireland, recently UK, they are now implementing the plain pack, meaning that 
on the uh, cigarette pack or the tobacco pack, you cannot advertise anything on it. It's only the brand name, the health impact of it. I mean, pictorial is there. So meaning they are even closer. So we want to educate the people, come out with a legal regime before we get to that level. But if you want to ban it now, I mean, what about those who are addicted to it? What are you going to do with them? You have to do it with human fees. Okay. Yeah. So now we want, as we have them now, we want graphics. We want something indicating that this product is harmful. Yeah. Help us understand the picture that you want on the package. Yeah. Uh, if you go over the internet, so many, in, even in Africa, countries have gone ahead to implement pictorial warnings. Um, Far advanced in the well, what's the statistics those who are doing that from you know then to now and us thank you yes uh, Australia being the first country in the world to introduce plain pack the uh, prevalence rate that is uh, uh, nationally within the age point one percent that was before 2010 that was their statistic globally, 40 years and above. Mm. But when they introduced the plane pack, in addition to So if it continues along the line, that means at least within a shorter, uh, within the shortest possible time, they will be able to bring it down. So the statistics are in favor. And even if uh, you... to print so you just change the one plate it goes ahead you can use so what so are you do you have uh, a picture of somebody uh, And we have the image of the lung cancer. At least uh, you should be able to allow the public to compare between the good cancer and the lung cancer. We all know how the good lungs is. The good lung is very clean, neat. I mean, very reddish. So you have the clean one. I mean, is there? Then, then you have the the bad one, very dark. That happens know? as a result of smoking. I'm telling you, this ah, are so the facts. So is why there, are we selling exists. the products then? Because if you have these on the package, I mean, you are. on the pack. People still smoke it. I mean, when you go to the shops, mm -hmm. you don't see, when you go to a proper, you know, supermarket, yeah. it's not They have it usually on the small, but the people who want to smoke will go there. Yeah, that's why, you see, this is the responsibility of government. If on the pack itself, it's written clearly, uh, smokers die young. If you smoke, yes, tobacco has been banned globally so that nobody can. Interesting. 
illicit trade. How can they come back and say that they are fighting illicit trade? They are involved. And it's a fact. It was exposed by a whistleblower who works uh, with, uh, for BAT in East Africa for so many years. So the industry is part. Who are involved, who are dealing with the tobacco industry at the detriment of the health of Ghanaians. I mean, as we speak today, the, we have a health burden on health insurance. And we know so if you continue to smoke, your population used to smoke, how can you grow an economy? With, I mean, sick people, with uh, people with diseases, lung cancer, heart diseases. How can you develop a, a country like that? So uh, we, we know some policy makers are involved in the similar thing to what is happening in East Africa. So we are urging and calling upon BAT to stop what they are doing, to stop selling cigarettes uh, and single sticks, to respect the regulation. the sale of cigarettes and single sticks, but if uh, a retailer I mean, the, the, is involved... The, road, the, roadside, uh, uh, shop that the, the roadside shops that we see, how could they be in control of that? They could be controlled. That's one of the issues that we are calling for. If you go through the Public Health Act, You know, I, I mean, mean, if they're able to weaken it, then you the challenge that we're having in Ghana now is the lack of, I don't know, I don't as is expected. Because if you go through the law, there's a provision that says that we should license all those in, tobacco, in, the, in the tobacco trade. So if somebody is there dealing on tabletop, license the person. If the person violates a provision within the law, you take up the license. You don't sell to the person. So this has, even if you go to the develop, it's not a new system that we are calling for. Even if you go to the United States of America, everywhere, if you doubt but it, a minor, are you surprised? I mean, that's a, a piece of legislation. Things don't particularly work in this part of the world. That's why we are, I mean, today we are here to team up with your station, <laughs> with your media house. <laughs> Contributes our economy, we can do away with it. It contributes at like 0, 0, 0.2 percent or so. You can talk to the tax expert. I mean, Ghana can do away with uh, with taxes from tobacco. It won't affect. room hasn't changed. Kwame J. Uh, jump it. This one from Juta in Dakwa. Uh, Juta, Juta Dakwa uh, in Adenta says, I think burning of car tires and cooking with charcoal 
and also what is coming black out of cars is more harmful to our health. So there you go. This answer can you imagine some doctors to smoke while sensitizing the public to stop? How mm -hmm. can it work? Uh, and, uh, you know, like people who really smoke will tell you that you, when were you born? When I was smoking, <laughs> you were not born or something. I mean, they, they, they. some cigarettes if if i mean you in you smoke you feel some sensation within your throat have you smoked so before it makes, no. <laughs> you used to smoke you, you know so you, like, so how do you know there's some sensation not, tell me about your story no you, you know we have a flavored uh, cigarettes i mean uh, so many flavors others are there if you smoke you feel like chocolate you feel like yeah. vanilla all I those things i didn't know there. that yeah they exist you know but thank uh, thanks have to you FCTC, smoked it has been banned. You have know. you smoked it's before? It's illegal. It is, it's, it's not good. Do you have a so, history of smoking? Because <laughs> so, you, you seem so to be doctors, talking from experience. Yes, so the doctors has actually, they started smoking when they were in school, when it was normal. I mean, they think it's good to smoke. So they are now addicted. Talk to them and see, they will tell you the truth that they will want to quit, but they can't because of I, the I nicotine. thought that sometimes people also use it as like, you know, like a stress relief or something. Because it's like you smoke and you feel free, you know. See, but, I mean, those are misconceptions, you know, that, that came in before. I mean, uh, oh, uh, if, if I smoke, I have some appetite. When I smoke, it energizes me and those things. They are misconceptions that were channeled, that were used by the tobacco industry. Even if you remember some years back, if you look at the advertisement, uh, smoothest way to go, you know, how can you smoke but and you see, my as a fear, smooth, smoothest way? Uh, Ms. Ali, my fear, if you were to enforce all these rules, mm -hmm. these restrictions, mm -hmm. you know, we copy a lot of things today from movies. Because mm -hmm. if you have people who are acting, smoking in the movies, you can tell them to stop. You can. There is a regulation on it too. Really? Yeah. Because I, 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 see a lot of you see you find a lot of scenes in the movies where people smoke, and it's like fashion. You see. So whilst you're stopping the traditional way of. through all the medium of communications. And we all know that film too is part of communication. So the issue is, uh, especially on the aspect of the using it, you know, indirectly to promote. There was some time back when the, it was advertisement was banned in Nigeria. The tobacco industry actually got uh, in touch with the film producers, and they were using films to promote. Mm. So actually, uh, what we are seeing now is very scary. Children are watching the Nigerian films, the Ghanaian films. I mean, the villains or the heroes are smoking nicely so they yeah. think it's normal it's cool so so these are some of the issues that as civil society we cannot do it alone and the media houses are part of the problem actually because they too are airing those movies eh. and they are not warning <laughs> that, that is one aspect so we are confident that when the regulation but what is would out, the warning do you know i i what would the warning do when you have you know 18 or 16 on the screen what does it what does it mean when the parent is not available to regulate good so so he
as going to smoke. So we we'll use this opportunity to call on government to fast track the implementation of the pub, uh, tobacco control measures of the public health mm. to All reduce right. the burden of the health insurance. Okay. Uh, we'll have to leave our conversation here. Let's wrap up uh, with some messages that have come through. Uh, Walasi in the Volta region. Thanks a lot. Uh, Walasi says, Mavi, this is serious. There's a man in my area who smokes. In fact, uh, when he coughs, you can hear the rhythm of his lungs and heart from Walasi in the Volta region. And such people, even in that condition, they will not stop. Uh, tell me I'm lying. This one uh, from Mohammed Astro in Damongo says, in fact, people who smoke know the adverse effects uh, than some of the people who do the campaign for no smoking in such a situation. I don't think the campaign will have a concrete solution uh, to no smoking, but the most appropriate solution is to allow the law I think uh, Mr. Ali should rather provide care. Uh, mm? Okay, I'm not sure I get the end of it, but I get uh, the core of your message. This one says, we don't understand why uh, even don't smoke in public places is not uh, enforced by the authorities, ministry. beautiful laws we have but who enforces them uh, but we have to end our conversation here and still be hopeful right because we've come a long way so maybe this will end someday so let's mount the needed pressure yeah the agencies food and drugs authority the Ghana Health service the Minister of Health environmental protection agency to do their work according mm. to the law mm. Ghana will be the safest but how place. are we doing I mean if, if you have to put a uh, uh, give a figure to it percentage wise how have we come in terms of the implementation implementation we are below 50 we are mm. we are below 50 we so are if not. i saw somebody smoking yeah. What, what, what should I do, like, in the open? You know, according to the law, you can only smoke in only a... Yeah, uh, and you know these are instantly you will just be prosecuted, fined. Yeah, you, you pay, they move with police with the avan. You pay or you don't pay, they take you away to prison. You so know what we invest in in Ghana? It's amazing. We chase the truck drivers and the taxi drivers mm -hmm. uh, at the stations where they don't pack well. Mm -hmm. They use that thing to block them. But we can't yeah. do some of these things. Oh. And sometimes there are big, big people. I mean, people who you know are rich, who smoke anyhow that we can make money off them, but we don't. Here we are. We'll get somewhere. But thank you for your time. You are welcome. <laughs>
<laughs> That's uh, Isa Ali, my guest uh, on this mm -hmm. tobacco conversation. He's executive director, Vision for Alternative Development. Let me just wrap up with, with some more of your messages. Uh, this one says, this, uh, Madam Moderator, yes, Mr. Watcher, uh, this discussion is very educative. Uh, okay, you, uh, I hear you. I hear you. You're giving me uh, uh, a point. AM talk coming up. Uh, send send us more of your messages and talk about more messages. Uh, I asked about doom so because I experienced it very much when I was at home. Uh, and uh, this message says, "Did you say you want to know something about doom so in the house?" Last Saturday, the light went out in the morning. Came late in the afternoon, just before the Champions League. They took the light again and only came after the match. K uh, uh, Sober from Kumasi. Uh, sending that message. You see, it's rampant. There's a plate. Is, is it called Trede? T R E D E. You said it's uh, very rampant. I'll come back and share a lot more of your messages uh, here on the show. You're watching the M Show. Please do stay.